Hello and welcome to our presentation on enhancing livability through Kelowna's parks and public spaces, a project developed in partnership with the City of Kelowna. Kelowna is the fastest growing city in British Columbia. The population is expected to increase by 50,000 people by 2040. In order to manage this growth, the city is shifting towards higher density development, which will present a new set of challenges in building and maintaining adequate parks and public spaces. Much of this growth is being targeted to the city center study area outlined on the map. Based on the context of growth and development, the vision for this project is to create vibrant parks and public spaces in Kelowna that support future growth and density within an increasingly urbanized environment. The final product of our report is a Parks and Public Spaces Toolkit. The following graphic helps to illustrate how we developed a framework for this toolkit. You can see that the site analysis and mapping analysis, our best management practices research, and most recently our workshop from January have all helped to inform the themes and desired outcomes that structure our toolkit. In all, we determined eight desired outcomes that well-planned parks and public spaces should aim to achieve and our four themes to help steer parks and public spaces towards these outcomes. To illustrate the connection between our major themes and desired outcomes, we developed a matrix to outline our toolkit. Along the left column are the four major themes and along the top are the eight desired outcomes. The matrix format allows the toolkit users to quickly identify which outcomes are best addressed by each theme or vice versa. We will highlight one policy directive from each theme and one corresponding example from jurisdictions around the world and a concept plan to demonstrate toolkit application in Kelowna. To ensure activated spaces, buildings adjacent to parks and public spaces should have human scaled active and engaging bases. Jim Diva Plaza in Vancouver, BC is a great example of this because the adjacent commercial uses spill into the plaza and are low in scale. The plaza integrates well with adjacent high density development and was funded with money collected through community amenity contributions. To increase mobility in the city of Kelowna, the city of Kelowna should enhance the pedestrian experience using traffic calming techniques such as curb extension, speed bumps, and street trees. Bell Street Park in Seattle, Washington is a great example of reclaiming streets to enhance the pedestrian experience through shared street design. The park has a meandering design with curb extensions and street trees. To ensure consideration is given to the environment, it is important to look for opportunities to create pollinator habitats in the urban environment. The Green Streets program in Vancouver is volunteer driven and it makes use of unused urban space like traffic circles to provide habitat for wildlife and enhance biodiversity. It is also important to integrate child friendly structures into the existing landscape to create socially inclusive spaces. This structure in the Calvbod Brig Waterfront Park integrates play into a pedestrian walkway. The child-friendly structure is brightly colored and contains regular playground equipment like monkey bars. This installation creates a multifunctional space and gives people a reason to stop and engage. Our report includes several funding mechanisms that were used to fund different examples and case studies highlighted in the report. Funding mechanisms that may be helpful to the City of Kelowna include working with the development community, and partnerships with community groups, nonprofits, and business improvement associations. It is also important for Kelowna to create interdepartmental partnerships to ensure parks and public spaces achieve all four themes. We decided to choose a location within the study area where we could visually demonstrate some of our recommendations from the toolkit. We chose the passageway at 1318 Bertram Street because of the potential through redevelopment to create a complete public realm in this relatively underutilized space. As well, the property immediately adjacent to the passageway has the potential to be redeveloped. This may create funding opportunities through partnership with the developer. Our concept plan demonstrates how 1318 Bertram Street can be turned into a vibrant public space. The concept plan demonstrates recommended policy directives from all four themes discussed in the toolkit. For activation, our concept plan demonstrates how adjacent development can have human scaled engaging bases to create permeability throughout the space. To encourage mobility, the concept plan demonstrates a curb extension with a street tree to create traffic calming measures and to enhance the pedestrian experience and user safety. With consideration to the environment, adding planter boxes can create an opportunity for pollinator gardens, enhancing biodiversity. And finally, this structure provides opportunity to incorporate children's play into the existing environment. This multifunctional feature includes a slide and a bench. As Kelowna continues to densify, we hope this toolkit and larger report will help to guide the development of parks and public spaces. Thank you.